Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you a simple trick on the Android devices, at least on my device, on the LG G3. So if you have an LG G3, it, you know that there is many versions, this is this one is the T-Mobile version, is the D851, there is D850, um, there is the AT&T version um, and the international version and the international version you get updates through the air. But me on this T-Mobile, how I use it, not on T-Mobile, a SIM, because I, I unlocked it. But I mean, I still get the official builds. And I'm stuck on the Android 6.0 and if there is an update, even if I go check if there is an update, there is no updates coming through the air. So I need to install them through PC. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how it's simple to, to check if there is an update and how to install it. So let's check it out. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is type the model version of your device minus the D851 which is a T-Mobile version, it stands for T-Mobile version there is team, uh, D850 stands for AT&T I think there is the Verizon version then the international version doesn't matter and uh, for my device, uh, for my version go into the LG G3 T-Mobile support because this one is from T-Mobile and here it says software info. Let's type or let's press on the update availables. And uh, it says software version. The latest one is the D85130E. Uh, as I showed you on my device, it was uh, 30D. Let's uh, show you again fast. As you can see on my uh, version software version, it says uh, D85130D, which the latest available it's the e version which i'm supposing it's the uh, the version 6.0.1 so to download this um, you will not get updates uh, updates to the air let's uh, show you fast I didn't, I didn't show you actually let's go into update center press system updates check for updates and happens nothing it says last checked for update at 3.43, which now is 3.43, but there is not up an update. And to do that, uh, you will need just to uh, download the LG uh, PC suite onto your PC. And here it, it will not say, let's see software update, it will not say to download, there is not a link to download the LG PC suite. Let's go into Google again. LG PC Suite Just download it from the official uh, website And there's no problem with that uh, Go here, click here to, for Windows PC uh, Let's save it on the desktop, doesn't matter It has 224 megabytes, which is a bit big, but doesn't matter Let's click on it Start. It should start to install Yep English, okay, next, agree, that doesn't matter with here the settings, just just install it and have it installed on the PC. Okay, finished, let's run the, the program, run LG PC Suite, finish, come on. And then after this you'll not need to download anything else, just the program will download by itself the last, latest version. If there is available one, of course. Of course, you don't need to go into the official website to see if there is an update. You just can install the, the this program, the LG PC Suite, and check for updates. So now I'm gonna connect my my phone. Let's connect to USB. And here you, you must you must uh, allow the USB connection. Allow. Once you allow, it will connect to to your PC. It connected to your PC and now here device software upgrade check and here you can uh, it will check the, your specific device it doesn't matter which one it is it's a T-Mobile or Verizon or international doesn't matter it will it will check for your specific model and it will download the latest version of course uh, before I go here and check for updates I just go into the into the um, official T-Mobile website and check if there is a new version uh, but of course you don't need to do that, uh, you just can come here and check. But as you can see this one takes a little time until it checks. And you see here current version on my device, it's the uh, 30D. 
And the latest version is the 30E, which is the same here. I have this installed and now it's available this one. And now you just need to press yes, um, run with, a, with backup or without backup. I don't really matter the backup. And now it's an analyzing um, upgrade environment. And it will also restart your phone. Uh, be sure to not let the, the phone to the screen to go dark now, at, at least in this moment, or just don't, don't disconnect. Phone battery too low to upgrade, so let's uh, check a bit later because now I have 16%. Uh, when I have like 40%, you need 40%, I think, uh, I'll come back and um, yeah. Okay, the phone already got uh, 56%. 56%. Now we, we should be able to uh, we should be able to install. It's a upgrade check again because you, you need to. Once it starts downloading, it just will download and then uh, it will restart the phone and it will install the new update. This update it is like the same for any other updates for KitKat or if you update from KitKat to Marshmallow doesn't matter. When I updated from KitKat to Marshmallow, I did the same thing. Okay, so here it is, the same version. Uh, the latest version available is 30E, uh, and I have installed the 30D. Let's press yes, run without backup, select and analyzing environment, and then it, this will take some time, of course, and then it will start like downloading the new version and then it will start installing the new version which of course takes some time but uh, it's worth waiting here downloading upgrades uh, once it goes to the next part we, next part with which is uh, installing the the version or restarting the phone i'm gonna i'm gonna skip to there to that part okay so now this next part is installing the upgrade the update uh, and uh, as you can see in the notice, uh, upgrade cannot be cancelled once started, phone will, re will restart automatically, uh, then time varying doesn't matter, see the phone already uh, kind of went to restart. As you can see, firmware update, do not unplug the USB connection until the process is complete. Um, if the fourth op uh, point is, uh, if, you, if upgrade is unsuccessful, click restore upgrade errors in the mobile via uh, that doesn't matter if uh, the upgrade is unsuccessful which I had that unsuccessful uh, you just re take out the battery of your phone uh, restart the phone and it works okay okay so as you can see the on the phone already it's done it installed and it is restarting the phone but on the PC it still says like 83% but that's normal because uh, now uh, the phone will start and it will start updating the old apps and on the phone it will still say like 80 something percent and it will go until 100 w once the phone it gets into the like into the boot menu already as you can see on the T-Mobile it stays so much on this T-Mobile uh, image uh, but on the phone it's already upgrade complete you can click OK and you can uh, also unplug the cable uh, this will still take some time in this uh, image, in this menu, and after that it will start updating the apps. Let's see if that will happen. Okay, so as you can see here, it says Android is upgrading, it's optimizing the apps. It's not really optimizing the apps, it's just um, when, it's there, when there is an update, it kind of like restores the old uh, apps that you have. Uh, so they don't crash and stuff like that. So they, it kind of they update them to the new version. So after that, your phone it will be ready to to use. Okay, so here we are in the last steps, optimizing apps 228 from 20 229. Uh, it's, it will, it will end fast, and then after this, it will start the phone, and you can uh, use it already. And we're gonna check fast what's the version we will have after this update. Uh, let's see. Android is upgrading, finishing boot, and it will, should be soon in the booting yeah, screen. Yeah, let's uh, go check fast what's the build. I'm pretty sure it will be 6.0.1, but let's uh, check anyway. <laughs> Still 6.0, fact is, but uh, here the software version is uh, 30E, which previously was 30D. So this one got updated, but still I'm, I'm still on the Android version 6.0. And anyway, I guess this is just a small update. But anyway, this is how you check for updates on your LG G3 or any other, any other LG phone. 
it doesn't matter which carrier you are uh, you can do it by this way and yeah thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i see you on the next one